Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is going to be a, a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising uh, Monte Tarot reading for August 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second here to shuffle uh, the tarot cards and we can jump straight away uh, into the reading. Oops. All right. So um, the first card, which stands for the topic of your Sagittarius month, is going to be the Tree of Swords, followed by the second one, which uh, re refers to the peripheral activities that you can go for should you decide that it worth the hassle. Here we do have the Ten of uh, Wands. Afterwards, it is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the tower card for what it seems, followed by the next one, which stands for the positive aspect of the month here. And that will be the, um, the lover's card. And the final one, which refers to the uh, guidance that you, uh, it's advisable for you to follow, you know, or it's like the, gu the, the guidance that Taro is offering to you for throughout the month. That will be the chariot card. All right. So, um, well, it's <laughs> it's kind of like a, a back and forth kind of a month. I mean, it's uh, the whole topic of it as the tree of swords. It doesn't look like that is going to be something very pleasant. All right. But while in the same time, we do have this rather unpleasant card at the topic, the positive aspect looks really promising. So the way I see it here with these cards, Sag with these cards, Sagittarius is that out of something that looks like really bad, a good thing can happen. Okay, so do not drop off your hopes uh, right away when you see that things aren't working out career or relationship wise or you name it. But instead, you know, it's kind of like try to persevere through this difficult period of time. So before we scrutinize the reading, let's uh, run it down one more time. The first one, which stands for the topic, is going to be the Tree of Swords, followed by the peripheral activities of the Ten of Wands. Then it is the challenge represented by the Tower card. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect, which the lovers stand for. And the last one, which is the guidance here, it is the Chariot card. So Tree of Swords, guys, the very topic. Well, Tree of Swords, it's like a, um, the little brother of the Ten of Swords, you know. it's uh, <clears throat> But uh, unlike the Ten of Swords, with the Tree of Swords, things are not beyond any repair, all right? I mean, it's, it's like... Uh, recognizing failure or it's, it's more like a... Uh, thinking positively i don't know how really to describe it to be honest because what the tree of swords it does point uh, here throughout the month uh, is that uh, some of you at least are going to be rather devastated of the turn of events that uh, things are taking shape at meaning that whatever it is to happen either career or either into your uh, relationship or a marriage or you name it 
with the first glance, you're not going to be happy for it at all. As a matter of fact, you're going to take it as a huge problem that you need to address at moving on forward. And for some of you, this is going to be a huge problem moving on forward but that you need to address at. But what you don't realize, at least at the very start of this problem appearance, it is that as simultaneously it's a plight that you have to struggle against, it is just as a uh, opportunity for you to um, restructure this, uh, this field of life, either career or either relationship. For example, um, you find out that your wife have cheated on you. Well, that is the prerequisite. Yeah, it's not going to be something pleasant, you know, you may be driven mad by it. But in the same time, it is the push, the drive that will allow you to uh, change the circumstances around your relationship one way or another. All right. Or if you if it comes to your knowledge that, you know, you are considered to be suspended from work. Well, maybe this is the driving motion here, which is telling you that you need to start searching for another job. All right. So the way that the Tree of Swords work is, is that it's like making one step forth and then have to make two step backwards because simply the circumstances are not going to be very favorable. Additionally to that, the Tree of Swords may speak for mental cruelty, meaning being insulted, you know, and being taken advantage of as well, and these kind of stuff. So be very careful whom you are placing your trust at with this card obtaining the main topic. The other card that we do have for the Tree of Swords is going to be the Four of Swords, formation active supporters that we do have here. So what it looks like, it is a, um, a drive for understanding and knowledge why it happened, you know, what, what led it to such a stage and state as well, you know, and if you can do something about it to traverse the course of events, so, you know, to find out what you need to do, you know, so it's kind of like a month, which is going to be very intense upon you, um, thinking of, you know, how you can reverse, you know, the poignant situations in your life. Usually when we do have these uh, combinations here, it is likely that you are to associate yourself with someone very loyal, very faithful, where together you are to uh, kind of like uh, talk about, you know, the problems that you're facing and finding a, a solution through a deliberation upon those problems. So additionally to that, as a... Uh, <clears throat> Peripheral activities, we do have the Ten of Wands, and uh, this card points that you can, um, how do you say it in English, uh, you know, um, get on with, so get, get on with a, um, uh, you know, some obligations that you have took before that month come around. It is like promises that you have gave, for example, or chores that one way or another are yours to take and simply you cannot escape from them. Yes, you can postpone them as this card falls into uh, this position, but it is um, kind of like advisable for you to, um, for you throughout the month. How do you say it in English? Um, well, yeah, to get on with. Uh, to get on with those say, um, responsibilities that you have brought on yourself as you have promised something or you took a, a certain uh, activity beneath, uh, behind, uh, under your wing, should I say. Uh, we do have the Tree of Wands here as a accompanied card which speaks for a um, <clears throat> active supporters once again. So uh, we are definitely with the Tree of Wands talking about something that have is is it is a continuous from the previous months. All right, uh, it could be that uh, one month ago or in the previous month. Right now, in the month of July, you have start to make renovations of your home, and uh, with these cards, uh, it's advisable for you to finish them in the month of August rather than to postpone them into a. Um, into the month of September, for example, or simply what these couple of cards are pointing is that it's going to be beneficial for you to keep your words straight when it comes to um, 
peripheral obligatories in regards to friends, families, um, co-workers, and etc. etc. It's going to be a bit difficult to keep up with, all right? But in the same time, they are going to give you some certain benefits, either connections uh, that you are to win for yourself or any kind of other ben benefits like, for example, a, a favor in return that you can ask for moving forward in the future. So from there, we go to the uh, next card, which represents the challenges that you need to face. And that is the Tower card, highly connected with the Tree of Swords, as we saw at the start of the reading. And the Tower here points to that... Um, how do I describe it? It's it, it's like your world, it is to start falling into ruin. Nothing or the majority of the stuff is not working out the way they are supposed to work, all right? And uh, the challenge itself here is going to be not to lose a, a clamorous belief that things are eventually going to improve because the Tower card also manifesting itself with rather unpleasant circumstances and unpleasant symptoms, it always does have nurturing and cleansing effect. You know, either upon your career or either upon your marriage. Just to give you an example, if I am following these uh, previous scenarios that I have incorporated into the reading, you know, you suddenly realize that you're uh, or came to knowledge that your wife is cheating on you. Well, then you have the chance to confront it, bring down your marriage and you decide what to do from there. Should you rebuild it? Or should you completely break it? Well, it's it's up to your decision. But the point is, with the Tower card, is that instead pitying yourself or how unfortunate situation the situation is, you got to pick up yourself together, you know, and work with the circumstances because they are giving you a, a chance for redemption. They are giving you a, a chance for growth. Maybe not in the direction that you have hoped for, but growth is growth. And I, in my, in my personal beliefs, you know, you gotta, you gotta take any chance you can. So in order to make it happen, the accompanied card here is going to be the four card formation. It is a passive supporters. So with the four, I, again, it's the clamorous belief, you know, it's, it's to believe that it's not even to believe, but to assume, to assume that um, out of these, it, it, well, to assume that the phoenix can rise from the ashes. So yeah, the month is gonna be rather very intense, all right? Uh, like I said, you're gonna think about how it came to that, you know, what, what you did wrong uh, moving from the past to the present, and not necessarily that you have done something wrong, all right? It could be a uh, exterior circumstances that you had no control over, but right now, instead of pitying yourself in regards to those circumstances that you don't have uh, control over, you have to ask yourself well, what you can do with your own personal strengths and your own personal means, you know, to make your life easier and to improve your personal circumstances. It ain't gonna be easy, all right? It will require some sacrifices here, as we can see with the tower and the full card. It will require for you to destroy a, a, a certain structures in your life, like a, a current code of conduct of a relationship, you know, or a, a career as well. But after that, you're going to have the chance to rebuild it back according to your own image. It's like shattering a glass and then picking up the pieces of the glass and gluing them back together, making it even stronger than before. So from there, we go to the positive aspect of the month, and this is going to be the lover's card. <clears throat> so you have the right to choose. Just like I said in the previous card, you get to decide when you bring down to, in your knees the situation, should you break it or should you make it? And that is the positive aspect you get the option to choose. Now, the thing is with the lover's card, that there is no right or wrong decision here, all right? You, either way, there are gonna be pros and cons, and it is up to your personal preference, okay? So for example, let's say that you find out that you are going to be uh, suspended from work and you start searching for a job, 
and suddenly a two companies are interested in you, all right? So one of the companies is offering you a very boring and irritating job, but in the same time, they are paying very well, right? While the other company is offering you a very interesting job, very maneuverable one, very versatile job, but in the same time, ain't paying as good as the first company. So it's all about personal preferences. There is no right or wrong decision here. You can go for the one that pays a lot, but you have to face the consequences that you're going to uh, hate yourself going at work every single morning. Or with the other one, that you are going to enjoy going at work, but in the same time, you will not have enough funds to make savings, all right? Then the accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of uh, Cups. The formation, it is a active neutrals that we do have, and with the Queen of uh, with the Queen of Cups uh, to the Lovers card, it does look like that the time for inactivity and to keep silent, you know, and to pretend that nothing is happening around you, uh, it's pretty much over. You're going to recognize it by yourself. For example, um, if you are. Uh, uh, if we were following the scenario here that you found your partner is cheating on you, you know, maybe you had these suspicions, but you kept your mouth shut until up until this moment. And now it's just your partner takes the cake, all right? It's just there becoming more and more bold in regards about it. So you can't keep it silent anymore. And you decide that it's time to do something about it, to, to make your stand regardless of this thing is going to uh, work out or it's not going to work out. My point here is that it is very unlikely, Sagittarius, that you are going to have any sort of regret that you took an action to improve your personal circumstances, even if these actions are not as effective as you hope that they're going to be. And the final card, it is the Guidance, and that is the uh, Chariot. And so with the Chariot, you shouldn't be afraid to act, really. The Chariot re uh, represents um, defying the odds, all right? So at the start, it may look like that uh, you have no chances whatsoever to get the upper hand in the situation, while when, once you start performing in it, and once you start doing something about it, you are to see that actually your work is going to be rewarded. Actually, your wishes are starting to become more and more seizable. You know, you it's like uh, further in the future, you are to have the opportunity for wish fulfillment. Not to mention that this month, should you play your cards right with the chariot, uh, it seems that you are going to make it the preparations for a big leap moving on forward, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So what we do have into our country here as an expression is that instead, instead to, guide, to gouge your eyes, they actually fix your, uh, your eyelashes, all right? And it's kind of, it made you more prettier. So that being said, you should not be... Um, regretful for what you're losing because to me it seems more like a sacrifice you have to sacrifice something that isn't working out all right for a favor of something which have a huge potential to work to work out the way you want it to work the accompanied card here is going to be the six of swords formation it is a, a passive neutrals and it with the six of swords here it does not involve much of a risk as, uh, at all i mean you pretty much how how do i describe it um well let's say that way your courage that you are to have throughout the months to improve your circumstances will um put into negligence the seemingly or oh, it's difficult to describe you know the seemingly risky moves that you are to get so in reality you are to accept the situation it's just like you have nothing to lose all right and that makes you extremely powerful and dangerous if we're talking about that you need to have a that you need to have to clash with a certain rivals you always uh, there are two things that you need to be afraid of when a kid points a gun on you and when you are facing someone that have nothing left to lose so that being said um this was your uh, monthly tarot reading uh sagittarius for august 2019 and i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye